Hey everybody, Chaos here, and today we are taking a look at uh, Miss Pandaria, and here we are at the uh, character select screen. Really different, as you can see. We've got the Pandaren down over here, right in the middle of everything. Our classes are on the side over here. So, I don't know. I was going to do a Hunter, but I don't think we want to do a Hunter. What do you think? Uh, he doesn't look impressed. <coughs> So we'll try a monk, just because it's new, and that's what this is all about. Showcase some new stuff. So, let's hit the next button down here. And now you can see you can change your skin color, which is pretty awesome. They've got this all set up. So you can get an idea of what it's going to look like before you change it, and then you can change it. Ooh, looks like a dog. So there's just these many selections here. I'm liking the brown look. But, uh, oh! When you rotate him, the whole... <laughs> whole side panel rotates. That's... that's I was not expecting that. So I like this one for some reason. Let's go with that. Then you hit click on face, and of course you get the different faces. Kind of looks like a tiger there. Whoa. Looks like the ultimate warrior. I'm going to go with that. <coughs> then hairstyle. Of course, it's no hair. A little bun on the top of his head. I don't, I don't know what the difference between those two are. Oh, okay. I saw something different, but not much. This is two different colors. Uh, like this one. Wow. Very Chinese of him. He's got Super Saiyan hair. Super Saiyan hair it is. And the hair color apparently there's lots of choices for that. So let's see, let's see facial hair. Oh here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Fu Manchu stuff going on. Oh, best of both worlds right there. Oh no. Jeez, I don't know. He's a beardy kind of guy. It looks exactly like this does. Oh no, I guess it totally is different. Well, same th thought though. Let's see. Yeah, the beard kind of goes with his uh, Super Saiyan look. Sounds good to me. What are we going to call him? We're going to call him Squeak, because my chair is squeaky. That's what we're going to call him. Cad... Adin. Cad Adin. Cad Adin? No. There we go, Cadden, level one monk. Let's go check this out. <coughs> this is going to be my first real time playing mists. I have a couple copied over characters, but I uh, haven't really played anything. I did play a character and, and try to find a mailbox, but I was very unsuccessful in finding a mailbox in all of Pandaria. Because <coughs> I don't think one exists yet. Much to learn. Quest discovered. Flush your train. Your first task is simple. Speak to Master Shang. As I... Hey, what's up? 
Today is the day when your fate will be decided. Do you have enough strength and cunning to be a monk, or are you destined to be working at the fields? <coughs> First, you will need melee weapons suited to your talents. Retrieve a pair of hand wraps from one of the weapon, weapon racks below. Bring them to me and show me that you know how to equip them properly. Alright, so. We could go down here. With that half a dozen other people who are doing the same thing I'm doing. And I get to grab a weapon. Yeah, I want some hand wraps. Yeah, I want two of them. Let's see, so one hand wrap, two hand wrap. Loot and equip a second hand trees wrap. So I get my two wraps. Hey master. What's up, man? Get my wraps right here, babe. Oh, this guy's like a replica of me. I don't know, he doesn't have a he doesn't have an awesome epic beard like I do though. <coughs> Destroy five training targets. Okay. Lesson of the stand the sandy fist. Alright, let's see. Where's the training targets? Oh, these things. Okay. Oh, okay. That didn't work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. Where are all the targets? are all down this way. See, a hunter up there is trying to kill my targets. Thank you, Hunter. Oh, he jumps so funky. Like a jump. Oh, cool. They land really cool. They just don't land cool when you jump like that. I'm Big Bear. I'm Big Bear. Oh, excuse me. Alright, now what, Master? Not bad, Kedden. You may have... In, you may indeed have chosen it, the proper path. Good. Let us continue. I got some bracers. Sweet. Facing a living opponent is very different from stationary targets in the yard. Living opponents strike back. There is the real, the very real fear of failure and sometimes even death. You must have the courage to overcome these fears. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Challenge the other trainees with the t temple or down the steps below and defeat them. Well, yeah. I get more bracers? Seriously? Why do I need more bracers? I already had bracers. Look at that. I got all kinds of stuff. Look at the chest piece. Wow. Alright, where are these other boneheads? They're in this place. This is the temple. Let's check this out. Hey, I challenge you to a fight, sir. And I will beat your ass. What's this do? Quaking Pain strikes the target with lightning speed. Oh, you're, I took you out. Right. Hey, it's my turn to fight you. And I'm gonna lightning speed your face. Oh, I got him. I got you. Oh, oh, lightning speed your face. Oh, that was lightning speed? That was a sleeping cell. Incompa- oh, okay. It puts him to sleep, apparently. These trainees are very noble. If it was me, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Stop punching me from behind, you fucking dick. Hey, it's Master. He came in here. Let's see under his head. Alright. Oh, I get a belt. He said, I thought he said I was going to get bracers. I think they need to fix that. The Lesson of the Burning Scroll. Every wisdom has time and place. And 
times are changing for those of us living here on Shizui. For this lesson, I would ask two things of you. For the first, I hold flame in my hand. Gather your wits, and when you think you are ready, attempt to snatch the flame. Should you succeed, I want you then to climb to the tops of this temple and burn the edit of temperance that you find there.